Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be taking Pharrell to Mythic. I've had a lot of comments. I know I said I had enough to get into Ascended, but I was one Legendary Plus short. So we can't get him to Ascend it yet, but we'll take him to Mythic, we'll upgrade his signature item, which is absolutely amazing, and then we'll push some campaigns. So I'm really excited to get this guy up. I can't wait to get him to Ascend it and do a real damage test versus Shamira, because I'm at that stage where a lot of people are telling me that, um, you know, around chapter 21, 22, he becomes much better than Shamira. So I can't wait to test that out. Unfortunately, we're just going to get Mythic today and then we'll be able to push the Ascended after probably the next summon session on this account. So let's get into the video. Firstly, I just want to apologize for my voice. I've been a bit sick. That's why I didn't do an upload yesterday. I just, <laughs> I couldn't talk at all yesterday. I'm a bit better now, so we should be fine. I, I hope you guys can understand me. So we're just gonna jump over here, go to Pharrell, go to the fodder, and to send him to Mythic. Now, his signature item is one of those really, really nice ones, but, and, and it's one that you really want to upgrade. However, the unfortunate thing about it is that it's not a fun one. Now, I, I'm a big fan of the fun signature items where you get different, you know, different stuff when you level it up. And there we go, we got it. But unfortunately, this one is just one of those ones where it's going to add numbers when you level it up. So normal attacks will cause an evil spirit to haunt the enemy if the critical strike occurs. Now, when we skill this up, it becomes attack ratings for all enemies are reduced by 1.5% and the health rec and health recovery rates are reduced by 10% for every spirit that is haunting an enemy on the battlefield and it stacks up to five times. So with level 20... They're reduced by 3%, stacks up to 5 times. Level 30, 3%, stacks up to 8 times. Now, it's really, it's a really nice one that I'm probably going to max out. But once again, it's one of those ones that it just doesn't add anything fun as you level it up. However, the numbers on it are just too good to ignore. And that's why I'm probably going to level it up. Now, when we talk about evil spirits and stuff, we're going to look into frail skills because I don't think we have before. If you don't want to look at his skills, I'll leave a timestamp. And uh, you can just jump to the bit past going through his skills. But his ultimate fires, fires a demonic arrow that hits all enemies on the battlefield and causes them to suffer 170% damage. Now that's low damage, but it increases. All enemies that are haunted by an evil spirit receive an additional 25% damage per spirit. And then this is what I love. His his skills that don't give him spirits are just like every, every skill, skill ups like affects his spirits. It's really nice. So... Spirits attack speeds are increased for six seconds after he does that. So really, really nice. Next skill, fires a cursed arrow at an enemy dealing 140% damage. The cursed arrow causes an evil spirit to haunt the enemy for 10 seconds. Any spirits which are summoned due to Pharrell's abilities will attack their targets once every three seconds. Now that may not sound like much, but it's really nice once you get a bunch of them up. So damage increased by up to 170%, cool. Um, any spirits which are summoned due to Pharrell's abilities will deduct 15 of their target's energy points per attack, which is really, really nice. And then finally, any spirits which are summoned due to Pharrell's abilities have a chance to interrupt their enemy's attacks each time they attack them. Now, I'm not sure exactly on the chance, but being able to interrupt with these spirits, considering you might have to like over five spirits on them attacking every three seconds, you get interrupted a lot. And you're losing a lot of energy. There's so many times where you finally, you, get, you end up getting a lot of spirits from Pharrell on your heroes and they just can't ultimate. It looks like they're right about at full energy, but they just can't ultimate because the spirits just keep eating away at that energy. Um, this next one terrifies and stuns two heroes for two seconds and summons an evil spirit, which haunts them for 10 seconds. Um, and then skill ups go terrifies three enemies and then increases it to three seconds at 201. So Pharrell, you can see why he's one of those heroes that's not too good early, but once he gets high leveled, he becomes much better. Cause a lot of, a lot of what he does is tied into his skill ups. And then finally summons an evil spirit from an enemy fallen hero, uh, from an enemy fallen hero's corpse, and then haunts an enemy for 10 seconds. Uh, and then 
that's like that's okay like if you kill an enemy quick you know you, you get that extra spirit but it's the skill ups in this one which are nice as well any spirits which are summoned due to Pharrell's abilities will remain on the battlefield for three seconds meaning additional three seconds which is nice and then skills up to an additional five as well so he's all about summoning those spirits getting them out there and then with his signature item, reducing their attack, reducing their health recovery, you're reducing their energy, you're interrupting them with these spirits, and then he's also got just a general stun as well. And then this ability can actually deal a hell of a lot of damage once you get a lot of spirits on the field. And this is why, you know, once you unlock him at Mythic, once you get all the skill ups, he becomes amazing. Now, I'm gonna look at my heroes here. I get a lot of comments on this account saying, Reset Grizzle, push Shamira to 240. I can't actually do that. As you can see, I've only got 6,000 dust. Actually, maybe I can. What do these cost? Wait, what do these guys cost to upgrade? 30K. So I'd only get 30K back. So I'm still short by about 4K and I have no dust like things in my bags. So we can't actually do it. We're like 3,000 dust short. I can buy that. Now we're like 2,500. I could refresh the shop 10 times, but we're not gonna. Anyway, what we wanna do, we're gonna take Pharrell's signature item to 10 because we want that attack reduction, health recovery uh, reduction, and all that jazz. So we're gonna just spam this up because we should definitely have enough here. We got 600, that should be plenty. So we'll take that all the way up to level 10. Uh, we're saving for Grizzle, he's on level 19. We're close to getting Grizzle to level 20, which will be awesome. And he'll get so much health back, so I can't wait to get that on Grizzle. So there we go. We've got that up. Looking good. That's what we wanted on him. Uh, as you can see, his gear's not fantastic. When we do the Ascended video, unfortunately, I don't have much uh, great leather gear for him. As we can see, I just don't have the Greyborn pieces. I may start buying them, see if we can get some, some good ones. But, you know, the boots are really nice. What we might do is we might just enhance these boots. We're, we're, we're going to end up focusing on him, so we'll just go all the way with him. So, boost keeps really good stats too, especially on leather. You get the attack, you get the crit rate, you get the dodge. It's really nice. So, I'm going to try and get some more good leather pieces for him, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Now, let's go over into campaign and see what we can do. Now, I can't remember where all my all these were. Um, I'm going to put that one on her. And then, let's see who else has... Yes, yes, yes. We'll do Rowan as well because Rowan's nice. Let's do it. Okay. Actually, we'll put that one on Rowan. If we go like that, choose. And sweet. We should be good there. Now, hopefully we can push some campaign. Um, this level was annoying me because of the uh, because of the Arden and the Iron. So that's why I was using the Nara, but she just died instantly. Let's just try this again. Let's try this. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some attack reductions and all that stuff and maybe help out with the Pharrell getting the fears and stuff. I don't know. We'll check. We'll take a look at damage charts too, even though I'm thinking he won't have too much damage. If he ults here, he could get some decent damage out of it. Nah, he, he needs to be ascended for the damage. And we're still struggling. <clears throat> for some reason, this stage has just been a pain for me. So, it's got Warwick. It's got that Euron and Arden. It's just... It's a real nightmare stage. So, maybe we'll put him down here. <clears throat> maybe if we do that, and we do a Lyca, and we do that, we should be able to get the fears in pretty quick. We should be able to get them in before. Okay, he still beats us with the roots. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay, try again. <laughs> um, okay. Unless we go like this, drop that, put the Brutus in. Put that there. That may give us something. Pharrell died instantly. Brutus is dead. Grizzle's dead. Shamira's gonna be dead in a second. Okay, okay. I'm gonna come back. I, I'm hoping we can get through this stage. I've been stuck here for a while. Like I said, it's a non-boss stage. It's an absolute pain. We'll be right back. Okay, we finally got it. As you can see, not too bad damage from the Pharrell. Keeping in mind, he's 20 levels below Shamira. He's only at Mythic. Like, it's not bad at all. What we had to do was we had to put Jura's Call on Pharrell um, and put Lyca in the team to make him fear the Arden before the Arden rooted us. So as you can see here, we fear the Arden just in time. 
We put the Lyca in the front row so that she would get beat on by the uh, Warwick and let Shamira survive in that back row. And basically, we just needed to get Shamira up to her ult. And Grizzul played clutch in surviving that just long enough to basically take all the aggro away from Shamira and let her kill everyone. So that just that just worked out well. I don't know how many more um, stages we'll get through, but hey, let's try. So I really like Grizzul for fighting against Brutus. Um, I think we'll just keep this this lineup. We'll, we'll put Shamira in the front row. Hopefully Savius attacks Grizzul. And he attacks Shamira. Doesn't matter. We're going to kick him anyway with the Athalia. We should be good. Shamira's going to ult in... Ooh, okay. Shamira's taking some big damage. No, we should be good. We should be good. Pharrell's down because uh, Savius started hitting him. And sweet. Let's check damage. Shamira's obviously going to top that one. She got ult really early. But as you can see, he's doing, he's doing okay damage. Like, I, I, I'm like really looking forward to the Ascended test. Um, and what we might do is when we get enough to get him to Ascend, we'll put him as the 240 hero because I feel like he's going to be my main carry from now on on this account once I do get him Ascended. So, this one here. I'm going to kick the Nomura. I just, I just, I just, it doesn't matter what account I'm on. I just always love having the Lyca in there for the haste, but I just like getting stuff earlier. I don't know. And maybe I could put, I could really put Rowan in there, but hey, with this lineup, we still get a four faction bonus, so it's not too bad. Um, the tree's going to be annoying. We want the tree to root Grizzle. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good because um, Shamira's going to take less damage. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, Grizzle's actually taking a lot of damage. Good. Okay, we got the ult off early. Oh yeah, we still have Jura's call on him. That's right. And that's GG, I think. Yes. Nice. I wish there was like a um in the in the damage page it was there was like a CC section and it give you like a rating on the CC of the hero because like all that energy he takes away and the attack d d reduction and all that stuff. But once again, decent damage. So I'm really looking forward to actually building a Thorin on this account after him, and then having like two solid tanks. You got Shimira and Pharrell is damage dealers, and then you can swap that last one with anyone. But eventually, I think Shamira is going to drop out of my team. But we'll see how we go. Okay, so this one, once again, I'm going to leave that there. We'll do that. That should be fine. The Kaz is going to be a bit annoying, but hopefully she doesn't kill Grizzle too early, and he can get an ult to distract her. That's the great thing about Grizzle, just the distraction he brings. It's so good. And that's the GG. Once again, I don't think Pharrell did anything that one. Yeah, that was just all Shamira. That's okay. <laughs> we can accept it still. As long as... Wait, let's see. We might have a uh, a mythic piece. Please be a leather graveborn piece. Ah. Oh, it didn't work. The, the thingy with Jiggy didn't work. Because I've been stuck at that stage for days on this account. Ah, oh, rip. I don't know. I've heard people say that now you do have to wait a longer time. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe they just patched it out. No idea. But, okay, we're going to... These two tanks are both annoying, which sucks. But we'll see We'll see what happens. Okay, good. We feared the ones on Shamira, which is good because we wanted to mitigate her damage more. Good. And that should be it. That should be done. I think. Nice. Nice job, team. Once again, getting about a third of the damage of Shamira is not bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah, he's, he's going to be nuts. He's going to be nuts damage-wise. This is going to be good. I'm pretty excited. Let's go that way. I just don't want uh, Shamira getting charged by the, uh, the Estrilda. And Grizzle can take it. Good work, Grizzle. Oh, Shamira's taken a lot. And we got it. Nice. That uh, I wish I wish they'd implement for every hero. I know that I know they did it for um, Lucius, where when he when he's using his damage reduction shield, he can still ultimate. I wish they did it for every hero with every ability because I just find Shamira that often is um, that should be a good lineup. Shamira's always using Soul Siphon when she's ready to ult. It's an absolute pain. It's such a pain. Okay, that 
that stage we were stuck on must have been just like a really bad like composition for my team because we're doing not bad now. We're actually doing okay. Oh, that Isabella absolutely trained us. As I say that, we get destroyed by the Isabella and we're not going to be able to do it uh, because there's too much sustain on that team. Yep. Rip. Okay, that Isabella was an issue. I'm just worried that the Ira is going to be an issue if I don't kick her. I may have to bring the Nara into this one. Okay, good. The skeleton is distracting the Ira, which is perfect. Just depends how close Ira is to alt, and she's a long way away. And that's the great thing. That is the great thing about the Pharrell is no ultimates from the enemies. It's great. It's absolutely awesome. Oh, I didn't check damage. I accidentally clicked the button on my mouse. My bad. Let's go. Okay, what do we got here? Brutus. Okay, Shmir can stay in the front. And we'll use the Thalia on that one. Sweet. Thalia is just so handy. Just so, such a handy unit. Even though she's only a legendary. Or is she legendary plus? She's legendary plus on this account. She's so handy to have. That CC is so good. And GG. GG. Okay, we're actually pushing pretty good. We're actually doing it all right on this account. After after being stuck on a non-boss stage for so long, I thought we were just going to be just screwed. Uh, we're going to have to do that. We're definitely going to have to do that. Uh, and I want to put her... No, we'll, we'll leave her there because she can deal with the goalless if she doesn't have Savvy's attacking her. I think we'll be right. Like is going to die instantly from axes, I think. Wow, that damage on the Shimira. Nuts. Can Pharrell carry the damage? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Grizzle was just going to survive forever and nothing was going to happen. Let's swap this up. See what happens here. Okay, Grizzle's dropping really low. Shamira should get an ult here and we might be okay. If Grizzle survives a little bit longer. Yes, he's getting the heals. Okay, now we're good. Nice. Man, I love Graveborns. Graveborns are so fun. Damage. Hey, Grizzle did some solid damage. Nice. I mean, he never really does damage. People ask me to do solo Grizzle. I was thinking about it, but if we fight anything with any sustain, he's just, he's out of the picture. Uh, I think, I think I'm going to do it this way. I think I'm going to do it this way. If the aura hurts too much here, Nah, it wasn't too bad. The Shamira's surviving okay. Because we've got the skeleton up the top that distracted Ira. Can we survive? Ira's feared. She's distracted. Shamira's still surviving with one HP. Okay. Uh, nice. Oh, we didn't do damage again. Rip. Rip the dream. Okay. This one, that. I think I'm going to go K-Source with the, the interrupt. Just because uh, he's going to hit... More, more of my hit heroes otherwise. I think that should be solid. Will Shamira die here, right here? She soul siphoned forever. <laughs> Actually surviving, dead now, okay. Okay, might have to mix this one up. Let's see, who's annoying on that team? Maybe we stop the Verk. Can we fear? Yes, okay, we feared him in time, that's good. That's really good. I'll accept that. We feared the K source before he used his things and we still died. Okay. What I'm going to do in that case is I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave it like that. My idea here being that Brutus will kill Lyca and then hopefully he'll turn around and go with the Athalia once she kicks uh, Verk into range. Because now she's attacking him. He's going to turn around. Spin on Athalia. Athalia did a ton of dodging there. Pharrell's down. Nah, we're down. Okay. Was, was, was trying for a cool play there. Didn't work. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's just try it like this. I know the Brutus can do a hell of a lot of damage, but I'm hoping he turns around and spins on the Athalia. Which he is. Okay. That works. Unfortunately, Grizzle altered... Ah, it's just not... We're just, uh, let's see, let's see. Can we do it this way and make the Brutus still turn around on the Athalia? That's, that's pretty much what we need. Need Brutus to attack the Athalia and he didn't. 
Okay. What can we do here? Whoops. That's the alarm. Go to work. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Let's let's go. Uh, do we need to swap it up? Maybe what we need to do is this, this, drop it, and do that. Maybe we need those pots. Okay. Now, Brutus, turn around, please. Okay. I feel like this one may work. The Brutus just killed the Athalia before... Uh, before you spin. So if we can get that the other way around. Shamira, please survive. <sighs> Rip. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to swap it up again. We're going to do this. Feel like we can get this. I just really want to clear this stage. What killed Pharrell so quick is what I want to know there. That was, that's massive rips. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come back in a sec. We'll come back. And we got it. Nice. Okay, let's check damage. Yeah, Pharrell died early. It was expected, but let's go to the replay. And basically, I just kept trying it, and eventually it worked. Shamira, Shamira just had a clutch survival. I don't know. She just stayed high for some reason. Um, stayed high on health and managed to survive. That, that's pretty much all there is to it. We just managed to survive. We got cocooned and still survived, and that just became GG from there on in. So, yeah, just, just one of those RNG ones we had to play it a few times till it actually worked. Man, Grizzle, I really do enjoy Grizzle as a tank. He's so tanky. Next stage. Okay, we'll go for one more boss stage. So here we go. No, I, I don't like those packs. I just, I don't think they're great value. I just don't like them at all. Okay, this is a Warwick stage. We might have to call it here because it's Warwick. Please go and attack Grizzle. Yes. That's good. Grizzle's tanky. He can take it. He can take it. Good. Grizzle's going to ult here. We're going to get some stuns. Grizzle clutch with the little minions getting beat down by the Warwick. That's so good. GG. Nice. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, this one, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, I really want to stop the Nomura. I may have to put my Lyca in to counter the Lyca speed because I just hate, I hate the enemy having more haste than me. It's just, it's a thing. I hate it. It's annoying. Okay, Totem Dude destroyed my Pharrell with the Totem. Shamira's dying, but the farts are on the screen. Okay. That's annoying. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Let's just try that again. Might get some better fears. I kind of really want to fear the uh, the Cirrus because he seems to be really annoying in this one. Also, Totem's so annoying because Grizzle's putting his minions on the wrong side. Could we have this one? Shamira's pretty healthy and she's just got her second ult. Grizzle's healthy and he's got more distractions out there. I think we've got this one. I think we've got it. Nice. Good work, team. Good work. All worked out in the end. Nice. Moving on. Okay, this one and then the boss stage and then we're done. Let's... This this is definitely an annoying stage. Definitely annoying. That Warwick's going to be a pain. Can Grizzle survive? The problem is, it's got a Warwick and a Brutus, which are both an absolute pain to me. So... And I really need to leave a Thalia in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this because we just like, there's no way to avoid that Brutus doing his ultimate. And it's just, wow. Wow. That damage. It's hard when they got two really strong damage dealing tanks and a Savvy's. Let's see. Maybe, maybe we try the Nara, but I think Nara's just going to die instantly to the Savvy's. Yeah. Yeah, that sucked. Okay. We'll try this a couple more times and then I'm going to have to call it. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I just don't know. Maybe if we put him in the middle, drop that, leave her there with that. Actually, if we do this, this. Is this the account? Is this the account? Yes. Let's try Orthros. Let's see if we can get some clutch plays with Orthros. 
The uh, no, the Grizzle dies too quick without the CC on the um, yeah. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, the, 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 yeah, we we like the the Thalia has to be there. Like the Savage just does way too much. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this one right now. It's just a bad lineup for me. Because once a Thalia kicks that Savius, it's just game over because the Savi the Savius is then gonna just attack. Okay, let's try something different. Let's let's just try this and let's put Lyca in there. And hopefully let's see if we can fear the Savius. Okay, we got the fear on the Savius, but it just doesn't last long enough and we just melt. Maybe? Once the Brutus spins, we're done. Yeah, I don't. I think we're stuck on this stage now. We keep getting stuck on non-boss stages because of the lineups. But uh, what else could I try? I could put my Brutus in there. I could put my Brutus in there against the Warwick. I could do this. I could do this, this, this. Let's try. I don't know if Brutus has gear, but he's just there to survive for eight seconds. Please let. Oh, we need. To, okay, Warwick's ulting on the skeleton, which is good. Which is really good. We, okay, we're getting some stuns out. Okay. Brutus. Brutus with the clutch plays. Nice. Yes, Brutus. You're the man. Man, it doesn't matter where you are. Having out eight seconds is always nice. It's always nice. Okay. She's the boss, which shouldn't be too much dramas. We don't need you. We're going to put a Thalia back in. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do that, that, and then we'll put Thalia in there. I think this should be okay. I don't think the, those guys down the bottom need the potions. And I think we just really wanted to CC. Please don't mind control Shamira is all I ask. Okay. This enemy, this team has a lot of healing and a lot of shields and just a lot of sustain. So hopefully I just, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat down those shields in time. We got an ult there. Shamira, we, did we land a kill? Okay, we did. I think we're good. I think we're good. Nice. Nice. Boss stage down. Pretty happy. Let's have a look. Yeah, that was just, a, that was definitely Shamira carry. <laughs> that was definitely, definitely Shamira carry. Let's go over here. Wait, let's check quest campaign. Where are we at? Did we get any gear? Sometimes you get a gear. Ooh, some scrolls. Nice. How, does that put us up to 10 scrolls? Because I'll do it. Ah, nine. Rip. So close. So close. What do I get? This one. 30? Okay, that's that's not the good one. I really need, on this account, I really need 10 more of these. 10 more of these and Grizzle gets healed for 20% when these things die. That's going to be real nice. But um, but yeah, that's it for, for L, guys. That's Mythic. Everyone was asking me to do the video on him. Unfortunately, I stuffed up and I didn't have the fodder to get him ascended, but really good support hero anyway, but the ridiculous thing is he becomes an amazing support and damage dealer. Once I get him to ascended, like I said, we'll do a proper test and get him to be the carry hero. We'll get him up to 240 and we'll push, we'll do a real campaign push because I feel like he's going to be the man that's going to carry my team for the rest of this account. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.